second address book entry, simply go to Machine Status, under Tools, and select Add Address Book Entry. It takes a few seconds for what's already been programmed to pop up here. So once it does, you would go to the next available line. So in this case, it's line number five. So I select Available. The first thing you have to do is define the address type. So number one here asks for the address type. Select. And if it's a fax number you'd like to program, just go ahead and select Fax. Save. Number two asks for the fax number. So select and enter the fax number either using the numbers on the screen or your keypad and press save. Add the recipient's name. You can put a capital letter here. Just make sure and re-hit shift to bring it back down to your small letters. So Bob and hit save. And save again. To program an email address is very similar. So you're going to go to the same place and this time when you're going to define your address so we we'll select the next available line select address type. This time you're going to select email. Save. And number two asks for the email address. So you're going to enter the email address. The at is right here. You've got the dot com or else you could say whatever dot ca so on and so forth. So dot com. And save. And you can enter the first name and last name or if it's a small office you don't have many people you can enter just the first name again if we want to enter and just save that save close this up and you will notice that once you leave here the machine will actually ask you to reboot so you absolutely have to reboot to make the updates press reboot and the machine will turn itself off and back on again